Greetings everybody, Okanye Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time, we saw Futaba put her hacking skills to action, which took down Medjid. We also found out surprisingly Futaba is the one who started Medjid in the first place, but then it, be it became, well, what it became. And we're gonna work with Futaba some more in this episode, but we have a block of free time. Let's spend some more time with- oh yeah. Is this weather a result of climate change? Got info. We're not gonna be able to have our bond deepen yet. So let's hang out with her nonetheless. Then take a seat. More drunk, but hey, our bond will become stronger soon. Well then. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? Do you know? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power, worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. Alright. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Hey, we're up to 60%. We're above the... We're now having the majority on our side. That's good. I knew the Phantom Thieves would pull through. Can you believe they actually took down hackers? It's cool they don't reveal what they're doing. Who's that guy that was criticizing them? A catchy? It's pretty lame to just criticize without doing anything yourself. We're swaying more and more people to our side. Well then. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Futaba, can you open up? Open what? The front door. Why? Won't you come to Akira? We're in front of Futaba's house. You wanna meet here and not at LeBlanc? Is that more comforting? You never mentioned this. It'd be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon. Hey! I guess we're heading over to Futaba's. Who's really going about this seriously? <sighs> what is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You sound confident. 
Yes. You must be well versed in speaking when you are the student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. Oh? And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard this heat wave has sh is showing no sign of stopping. Don't know. I haven't been out. Oh, right. <sighs> Makoto's getting overwhelmed. This is odd. It wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Okay. Ah, oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them. I would have made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. <coughs> my children. What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shuttily made. No! They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Feathermen. Veteran players of the Persona series might recognize that name from Persona 4. Oh, Yellow and Peak's heads, and Red's been hacked into bits. It's all Inari's fault. Inari? Uh. If these clothes were like a fox, according to Japanese folklore, foxes like Ina Inari Zushi, thus Inari. Inari. Uh. They were in the perfect poses, too. So much work getting them to set up just right. You wouldn't know the stacks if it hit you in the face, Inari. How dare you say that to me of all people? Jeez, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. <sighs> yeah. I see. So your versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Right, right! Mm hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. The art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. Now that's regular conversation 101. Have the conversation be about something they're interested in. Seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others, as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. This is all I gotta do? What a breeze. In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes, she hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high. Don't worry. We'll be there. Okay. I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. Iker will be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. Man. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Interestingly, that's the best statement I can give. <sighs> Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go, though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Dude, people were so pumped. They're talking about how the Phantom Thieves took down Medjid. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in, too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes. They've only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We've been getting attention all over the city. So how's the one who helped us take Mejit down doing? Kutabachan. Oh. My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. Uh... We just talked. 
Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. Alright, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. You have so much to talk about. Oh, I can't wait. Ana and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me, but I guess we'll see what they can do. We can hope. We can hope. I give it five minutes. But let's not worry about stuff like that for now. For now, let's head back to the bar. Hello there, boy. Oh, yeah? Is this weather a result of climate change? It's another hot summer this year. I bet we're gonna break some record temp temperatures. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, God, my head is splitting. Work's been tough. I need a break. You have any good stories? I'm taking a little break, so I'm all ears. Our bond will be growing stronger soon, so... Well then. Lala John, two drinks, please. Here, take a seat. So exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead chief. But I made some progress on my personal investigation. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression that they, they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle. No dirty money changing hands. I can kind of understand now how someone like you became a fan. The more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can w w relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that fighting the evils of society is n a never-ending, thankless job. But I still do it nonetheless. I bet the Phantom Thieves share that same type of passion. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichiko-chan. Maybe all of this talk about the Phantom Thieves has influenced you, or maybe it's just the kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Yes, this is Oya. That's right. What? You found Kyle? Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait! Kayo. What's that about? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks he found Kayo. He followed up on, on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me, but now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it! Why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't just give up now. Yeah, at least that's progress. I mean... We didn't even know Kyo chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there. Ugh. Huh? I knew it. You've been looking into Kyo's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you drop this investigation if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait. You're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet? I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation. Got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief. Can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bitch. Listen to me, Oya. Give it up. Unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. Don't talk about Kyo like that. Stop messing around. Don't you dare. If you even think about talking shit on Kyo again, I won't hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Whoa, hold on. Take back everything you just said, or I'm gonna do even worse. It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest. 
And that's what we're doing. You understand? That spineless little bastard only cares about himself. Shit. This had to happen just as I got a newbie on Kaio. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? Let's think of another way. There's always another way. That's easy for you to say. No, I need to stay calm. Calm. Yes, calm. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and... Ugh, this sucks. An even greater quota is gonna be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive. The Phantom Thieves stealing hearts and changing lives. Ugh, sorry. I really will try and calm down now. We now have the ability Outrageous Scoop. You should know what it does by right. now. Same effect as our previous abilities from Oya, just with a greater effect. I'm still frustrated, though. All of that bullshit he said is really getting to me. I wish I could... I was better controlling my emotions, like you are. You're charming as you are. Huh? So... Uh... Nobody's said anything that sweet to me before. More importantly, Ichiko-chan, how are you going to manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I should be fine as long as I keep getting good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. Gain more charm. All right. Ever closer to that rank 5 charm. Wow! Huh? You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There's no customers. What's up? Yo! We're here! Ah! And there she goes. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Hey! Well, summer vacation is the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. Come on. You're gonna get fat, you know. Shut it. Hey. Where's Futaba? You've done well in coming here. Ah! Whoa. Shit freaked me out. That you, Futaba? Yep. Welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Alright, let's go. And anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Man. Sheesh. Looks like today's gonna be another noisy day. <laughs> For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What? What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. How suspicious. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about s that stuff to other people. Hey! I keep wondering if I should do it when I while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I don't get married right now. Yeah! Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, 
Tom is fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. <laughs> but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo. But I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well... How about we have her try helping around the store? That's perfect. It'll be good practice to have her in front of strangers. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope, nope. Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could try, you could dry plates in the back. Uh, I'll be there too. You'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, We're all gonna pay for this someday. Maybe the Phantom Thieves caused all these scandals, too. No, I don't think those had calling cards. You know, like changing people's hearts from the shadows. Is it just me, or have there been more posts from foreigners lately? Maybe we should make a request on that forum, too. Our popularity is through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. The cute chick says she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. You don't gotta say that over text, too. What in the world were you all doing today? We're all talking about blonde. Or more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Akira will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it. So your first test will be helping out LeBlanc. Only Akira will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. Leave it to me. Thanks for the help. You better make an effort tomorrow, Akira. You better believe we will. Okay. It's, she seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way to the beach. Next time on Persona 5. We started working with Futaba, but she's still got a ways to go. We're going to continue helping her with that. See you guys then.